Hey, this is Michele Morrone and this is my interview on golfnews.com. Watch it. We got an email uh, talking about this app and uh, I, I didn't know anything about Alahai and the concept of this app. So I basically made my research and we made the first uh, conference call with, uh, with all the team of Alahai and they explained me everything about it. And uh, after that, I've got uh, also other proposition, and it was the same app from other countries, but I decided to work with them because <coughs> the team were super nice. <coughs> and um, that's why I, 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 I quickly trust them. Uh, the concept of Alai is that you are, you know, doing something good to people that loves you and um, th and this concept is uh, fans that would like to you know receive a personalized video from their idol they just go and uh, book the, uh, the a video and uh, they can get it you know personalized with their name and everything and I and I thought that at the beginning I thought like but I I don't like people to pay for a video like I don't want to make business with with this because like I think that an artist should be kind and I'll just send videos uh, for free but then I thought that I could have you know kind of take this this love and put love in something else you know making happy someone I could have take this happiness and you know put it in something else with it which is charity because part of the money that I make personally make I don't know the other artists but uh, my concept was okay I can do something like that and uh, make something for charity you know exactly one year ago I used to work in the north up to the north in, in Italy uh, I used to work as a gardener as I already said in lots of interviews and uh, my life completely changed just in one year just like that because uh, I've, I've stopped acting for personal problems for two years after the after my divorce from my wife I've got so many personal problems and I just decided that uh, the way of the art uh, uh, did, w wasn't my way you know so just stop that and I start just getting like small jobs but the one that lasts more like I worked as a waiter I would I was working in a company that I used to what's the name of this parquet. thing the parquet I used to work in a company that used to build parquet but I got fired because I wasn't very good on it <laughs> but I was very good with trees and stuff because it was easy just to cut you know just to make hard with it <laughs> but and then I started working in this company in the, up to the north of Italy called the, in, the, in the place called Dresano. And um, I worked there for like seven months, six, six months and a half, seven months, until I got the offer from Netflix. And uh, you know, uh, it, 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 something incredible just happened because uh, uh, my agent called me one day and it's like, hey, there's there's this offer from from this movie called 365. It's a Polish production. Like, no, no, please, like, and I, I, I'm over with with acting, with music, with everything, you know. But just try to do it. You know? So I'm like, okay, no, okay, bye. And I went back. And in in the night, I I I got a call from the director. I got a number from from Poland, and it was the director. I'm like, hey. Hi, uh, I'm the director of the movie 365 Days. Listen, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know you, but I need you. But how do you need me? You don't even know me. I, don't, but I like your physical appearance. You know, you know, this movie is gonna be big. Like everyone can call you and said, you know, this movie is gonna be big. And he's like, listen, I made you the flight ticket. If you wanna take it, the flight tomorrow morning, you come. Otherwise, thank you very much and for everything. The day next, I decided not to go. I called my my boss of the trees because I was working inside the park to take care of the, the grass and stuff. And I'm like, hey, listen, today I, 
I don't really feel good with my stomach, you know, I'm not coming to work. But I'm, okay, okay, I will call to replace you. And I made just a little back, uh, I don't know, there was one under and a pair of socks inside. Right? And I just fly to Poland, and when I got there, there was a contract of three years from to, to play the main character of this movie. And that's how I saw it. And when I signed it, they quickly send it to me the script and I start you know working on the script building up the psychology of Massimo and I'm like hey listen like I, I don't think I'm gonna go back to the park anymore because but I was feeling guilty because I didn't finish my work but I had to study the script and that's how I came back I decided to, to become an actor when when I had around 11 12 years old so that was my first love. Uh, I always had the passion for music and singing, but I never, you know, uh, it was always a hobby. You know. After the movie, uh, something in the music happened because, like, like while we were shooting, I was at the dinner with the, with the director, and he's like, "What do you like to do beside of acting and stuff?" And I'm like, "I I like to write songs." Oh, let me hear something. And I made them listen to one of my songs and he totally fell in love and he's like, hey Mickey, this is gonna be inside the movie. So I was the main character of 365 Days and I did all the soundtrack for the movie as well. So that's how music started, you know. I mean I feel good because I, I, I did something interesting, I did something that people like and uh, uh, it's it's a nice feeling, you know. It's it's a really nice feeling because uh, I still didn't get like on my Instagram, for example, I still didn't get one bad message. So I feel that uh, people uh, people likes. For example, if we talked like yesterday, I I I just got a you know a notification from Forbes that 365 days is the most views. Uh, movie on Netflix is the most uh, uh, downloaded movie and in the history of Netflix so uh, I feel good about it I mean I'm collaborating with Hollywood with Spain for for movies Hollywood Spain um, I'm gonna have to start the second part of 365 days as well. We still don't know when, but for sure we're gonna make it because of this problem with COVID. And uh, yeah, have many projects, not in my language. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm here in Dubai. Uh, I'm here in Dubai for two reasons. One of the reasons is Allah High and I'm part of uh, this amazing family with these amazing guys. And the second, the second uh, is because I'm making my own perfume uh, and it's gonna be called Fillet. And because, uh, I mean, I, I've always wanted to, uh, I always in my life had the idea to have one day my personal per um, perfume. And I, it's 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 not a case like it's not a case that I'm here because uh, I've choose to make this kind of business of the parfum in the Middle East in the Arabs country because there's n like nobody in the world uh, knows about parfum as Arabs country. I mean the concept of the parfum here is not just take a parfum spray and go. The parf the, the parfums here are more like a, like like. A, like, like a culture, like something about culture, something about uh, philosophy, you know? like you don't just spray, you just spray, you put a tear of, of oil and then you put it here and like you. So uh, if I want to do something, I want to do something perfect. And this country is the perfect country to make this kind of business. Okay, well, I'm not a lot of uh, I love I, I love the Arabic food, but my, my favorite one is the bread with hummus that you just grab and put it in your mouth and you eat it and you slow it down. You, know, you can feel it, you know. And um, 
Yeah, totally, like Amos. I mean, it's the, the most simple thing, but it's the most good thing, you know? So, I like many things. I like kafta, I like uh, taboule, fatouche, everything. I like kafta. I'm uh, a very, very loyal man. Yeah, to me, loyalty is like something more important than business, the money, than everything, you know? When you're loyal, and uh, like, I exactly know what I want from my life. I exactly know what is my goal. And uh, I, ex I exactly know what I can do and what I cannot do. I can go down on the street just with James. Otherwise, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, I mean and, and my guards, of course, the other ones, like, no, I cannot. I mean, I accept it, it's part of the game. Uh, of course, like I made a movie that is worldwide. Every country I go, like America, Spain, Arabs country, like I get recognized. Every time I arrive to an airport, there's a lot of fans and it makes my heart so full of love and I love it. But, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, uh, it's, it's difficult, you know, sometimes because uh, with your friend, you, know, you get recognized. So Im imagine yourself getting recognized from everybody all the time. Even when you have the mask of the coffee and the cap, you get recognized because I have the tattoos on my hands, you know. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a part of the game. I love all of my fans because they love me. And I think that artists, artists should always be you know down on earth because if you're big it's because of your fans so if your fans loves you you're someone if your fans doesn't love you you're just nobody I can't live without my kids I can't live without my, my friends and uh, I can't live without my work 